19, so I plug that into the X in the first equation. Eastside is like this academic place where you, all these students, no matter where you're from, can succeed. The ultimate goal here at Eastside that everybody shares is not only getting into a four-year university, but being successful at that four-year university and then graduating from there and being successful in life. If you went in and you said, how high can we raise the expectations for students? Here we are. We started Eastside School back in 1996 to bring a high school back to the East Palo Alto community. There had not been a high school here for 20 years. We started with eight students that first year, and it was a real challenge. We spent the first couple of weeks of our first year at a park bench. We met wherever we could find space. We did a lot of work. We read a lot of books. We wrote a lot of papers. And despite all the challenges that we encountered, those students all made it through Eastside and really paved the way for the students that you see on our campus. Today, we have a beautiful campus with 325 students from sixth graders to seniors who are here from eight to five every single day, all working incredibly hard. You have to make an effort to do your work, to seek out help from teachers, even from your peers if you need it. There is a collective goal among the faculty and staff here to grow the intellectual life of the students. So they yeah. broke the prime. Uh, it broke your test, basically. I'm not just teaching physics, and our teachers here, they're not just teaching math, we're teaching, you know, character development. But you don't have any at the bottom, so what kind of solution would that be? A lot of the science and technology curriculum that we've continued to develop with the support of Genentech has been developing students to think in a particular way, to get both the skills and the knowledge to be able to solve problems, but also a genuine belief that they have an obligation to do it and a genuine belief that they can. And thanks to Genentech's support, we now have four years of lab science at the high school level. We've been able to offer our teachers more resources uh, for their classrooms, including the ability to really have more um, intensive labs that have really brought science to life for our students. <laughs> As a senior, I'm learning AP Physics and like BC Calculus, and I'm like, I had no, I had never expected that I could have that mental capability of doing that. We've now had 13 graduating classes and every member of each graduating class has been accepted to a four-year college or university. With each student who graduates from high school, with each student who goes on to college, their impact on their families, their impact on their siblings, their impact on their nephews and nieces has the potential to impact the entire community. Being the first to go to a four-year college, you know, it makes me feel special and it adds to the drive. I'm not just like the first daughter, I'm the first cousin, niece, granddaughter really to go. And so all my uncles and aunts are very excited for me. You just have this sort of like intellectual confidence that you can show with your family. Like, look mom, this is how I've grown as a student and as a person.